The A8L is the current premium vehicle within the Audi brand. The improved 6.3-litre W12 FSI engine is new since the product upgrade to D4. Today, we will be looking at active cylinder management on the 6.3-litre W12 FSI engine. This differs from the previous versions in that it has, amongst other things, lower fuel consumption levels. On the new W12 engine, there are no changes to the engine without active cylinder management regarding engine mechanics. The torque and performance have remained the same. Both engines achieve 368 kilowatts at a maximum torque of 625 newton meters. However, the area that has advanced majorly is the fuel consumption levels. The old W12 engine consumed 11.8 litres per 100 kilometres in the new European driving cycle. On the new engine, reducing the fuel consumption by 0.4 litres per 100 kilometres has been possible. The CO2 emissions now amount to 256 gram per kilometre, 8 gram lower than on the old engine. This means that the new 6.3-litre W12 FSI engine also achieves classification in the EU 6W emissions class. To achieve these fuel consumption levels, active cylinder management, known as cylinder on demand, has been introduced on the 6.3-litre W12 FSI engine. Cylinder on demand basically means cylinders only when they are needed. The cylinder on demand function does not use any new mechanical components to deactivate the gas exchange valves. There is an interruption to the fuel supply in the ignition to the switched off cylinders only. And it is always one complete engine side of six cylinders that is switched off. The engine management system decides which side is affected at that time. As a result of this simple method of switching off, no cost-intensive hardware amendments are required. In particular, no additional actuators for cylinder deactivation. However, there is a lower potential for savings as the gas exchange losses are not switched off because the gas exchange valves are open. Switching off is imperceptible to the driver and fully automatic. To display the current status of the Cylinder On Demand system, select Vehicle Functions and then the Onboard Computer Menu option in the Driver Information System. The operating mode is displayed here. If the Cylinder On Demand system is active, the fuel consumption bar changes from grey to green and the text message Six Cylinder Mode appears. The cylinders are switched off only if the following criteria are met. The engine is running under part load. The engine temperature is above 42 degrees Celsius. The engine speed is between 750 and 3000 revolutions per minute. One of gears 5 to 8 is active. The vehicle is moving faster than 28 kilometers per hour. The catalytic converters are not currently being heated and their temperature is sufficiently high. The 6.3 litre W12 FSI engine is split into two engine banks of six cylinders each. The master control unit J623 controls the master bank of cylinders 1 to 6, while the slave control unit J624 controls the slave bank of cylinders 7 to 12. The release for active cylinder management comes from the diagnostic system. While the engine is running, this checks the exhaust gas probes and the catalytic converters. A diagnostic request can prevent the active cylinder management system from working or request a change to the bank of cylinders that is currently switched off. If there is a relevant fault with the exhaust gas, in other words, the exhaust emissions warning lamp is lit, the active cylinder management system basically stops working. When changing over to the half-engine operating mode, the load on the working cylinder bank is increased, 
so that the torque level provided by the whole engine is unchanged. As the catalytic converters on the side of the engine that is unfired slowly cool down during half-engine operation, the system changes over to the other cylinder bank if the temperature goes below the specified level. These temperatures are not monitored by sensors, but are calculated instead according to a physical model in the engine control unit. Modifications were required to the fuel tank ventilation. By installing two solenoid valves, N80 for the master cylinder bank and N115 for the slave cylinder bank, the fuel tank ventilation gases can be fed to the cylinder bank fired in each case. The bank of cylinders which is currently switched off can be observed during a road test using the onboard diagnostic system. Use the read measured values function in guided fault finding. Here, use the search function to select the measured values for the oxygen sensor. IDE01912 and IDE03810 for the master cylinder bank and IDE04973 and IDE04975 for the slave cylinder bank. Values around 1 show that the cylinder bank is active. Values around 16 show that the appropriate cylinder bank is not active. If both cylinder banks show the non-active status, the vehicle is currently in coasting mode. In this condition, it is not possible to make any comment about active cylinder management. The new W12 engine does not have active engine mountings due to a lack of space. To balance out any possible acoustic problems for the driver when switching off the cylinders, the Audi A8L uses the active noise cancellation system. The principle of the active noise cancellation system is based on the fact that sound waves can be cancelled out by identical waves with opposing poles. Additional sound that is produced, which is emitted via the available vehicle loudspeakers, eliminates undesired noises or a change in the acoustics in the interior. The control unit for the DSP J525 uses four microphones in the molded headliner of the vehicle to determine the interfering noises and to calculate the amount of noise reduction required to eliminate it. This means that very pleasant acoustics are achieved in the interior of the vehicle. If a customer complains about a change in the engine acoustics, the active noise cancellation system should be tested. To test the components in the active noise cancellation system, select the body menu item. Then electrical system, self-diagnosis capable systems, address word 47, sound system Bang & Olufsen. Here under electrical components, you will find the control unit J525. You can then select the microphones for testing. Faulty components are displayed here. I hope I was able to give you an insight into the function of the active cylinder management system on the 6.3 litre W12 FSI engine. More information can be found in the owner's literature, the workshop manual and in SSP 490.